Well, well, well. The bad penny returns. Uh, I was surprised. Hey. Cole, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna start. Well, sir, what? Hey, you wouldn't happen to have the time, would you? No. Oh, I do. Look at that. 318. So? So this thing started at two. Yeah, well, so what's the point? What's the point? I got no point. They said you're more than an hour late. I, the plane was late, so therefore I'm late. Yeah. Always an excuse. You take a cab from the airport? I took the bus. Why didn't you take a cab? Because I took the bus. Oh, big hurry, huh? First time home in three years and you gotta be late. And did this guy's wake? You could have been waiting for me at the airport. How could I do that? I'm here making arrangements, meeting the people. What was I supposed to do, send you a hearse? I'm sorry, look, uh, you know what? It was out of my control. Yeah, everything's beyond your control. You signed the guest book yet? I just got here. Sign the fucking guest book before you leave. Christ, ah. you can't do anything. I try to be nice like you from, from now on to, to the future. Yeah. At least I get things done. Who do you think put this thing together from? I did. Her brother dies. He has to be buried. I do everything. Except say the rosary, which I'll probably have to do anyways if Father Kanachi doesn't show up the fucking drunk. Okay. You're, you're wonderful. You're a prize human being. I'm irresponsible. Okay, I get it. Okay, so let's move on. How are you doing? I'm, I'm really, really good. Good. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, you look good. <laughs> Thanks. You see Ma out there? Yeah, she turned away. Give her time. Always have. She's hurt. You never called? You never I wrote? I called. I called. Once a year. Big deal. I'm not very good at that. It takes a lot of talent. Oh, you know how it is. I know how you are. She could have at least said hi. What do you expect? Look, look how you're dressed. I look, I, look, I look good. I don't, what? I look okay. You look like a bum. Hey, this is a new shirt. Well, at least you could have wore a tie. <laughs> what? Be like you? Yeah. I'm dressed for the occasion. Yeah. You are. You look like an undertaker. I, I bought this tie. I'm, I'm, I'm dressed like a businessman. Yeah, yeah, Presentable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this tie. I bought it, but I, you know, I never, never know how to, never had to yeah, tie these you know, things. You're helpless. Just give me that thing. I've shown you a million times. I forget. Yeah. What kind of a man can't tie a tie? I never wear them. Yeah. Well, maybe you should. Then I'll be a man? Yeah. One of the tie ties is, is is like shaving. It's a rite of passage. But they're uncomfortable. Shows people that you're a man. Yeah, but they're uncomfortable. They're also a test of strength. They tell others that you're a success. Yeah? Well, I'm not a success. They don't need to know that. Yeah. You show me a man <laughs> who doesn't know how to tie a tie, and I'll show you a loser. What about musicians? Well, they're not real men. <laughs> Let's go. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. No, 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 no. There you go. Okay. There you go. So, hey. Man. There you go. Hey. Yeah, hey. you look like a real man. It feels like a noose. No, no. Just leave it up there. Leave well, it up can there. Can you tie it a little tighter? Just leave it up there. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, I saw Georgie out there. How's she doing? That same. Dumb fuck. Hey, yeah, she's nice. Yeah, she's all right. Pretty busy out there. Yeah. Yeah? All of his friends. I guess. Yeah? A lot of sad faces, huh? That's the face they wear. Yeah. I never liked him. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't make the... Uh, you know, you win. I, yeah. I, I just 
Yeah. Well, you probably would have been late for that, too. Oh, you're not going to start again. God damn, I'm not going to start again. You couldn't come back for my wedding? Come back for this asshole's wake? You come back for my, for my wedding? I came back for Ma. You couldn't come back for me? I came back for you. Right. I was broke at the time. Oh, I, yeah. I, I didn't have a job. I, I couldn't, beyond I, your control. I couldn't find my way home. Beyond your control. I'm sorry. I miss your wedding. You know, you say you're sorry, but I, but, but you know that you don't regret a fucking thing you, you, you ever say or do. Yeah. Come back from Ma, huh? Yeah. I'll bet. By the way, Richard, I uh, I got you something. No, no, they're lying to me. Right. You, got me you never got nothing for me. You're just bullshit. Oh, fine. Okay. You, you never got me nothing. You never will get me uh, nothing. And I just tell me you got something. It's a bunch of bullshit. Okay. Oh, big man comes back. I got you something. <laughs> Shit. So what'd you get me? Oh, something. A gift. For me? Yeah. Why? We're brothers. Huh. Gonna like this. You're gonna like this. Yeah. I know you are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where is it? Where is it? Where the hell is it? What is it? It's a, it's a belt what, buckle. What is it? It's a buckle. What is it? Where is it? Let go of my bag, Richard. Let go of my bag. Let, where, where the fuck is it? Let go of my bag. Yeah, where is it? I, let go of it. Let go of the bag. Fuck it then. Jeez. My bag. Get off my bag. Huh. Where is it? It's not here. What was it? A belt. No, huh. it's actually a belt buckle. Silver and turquoise. Huh. Yeah. From Argentina. Oh, Argentina. Yeah. yeah. Way down at the tip. I can't believe it's not here. Well, the card, god damn it. It's not here. I must have lost it. You lost my goddamn belt buckle. Yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> how, how could you lose it? I don't know. What a waste. And I, and I spent a lot of money on it. It would have looked great on you, too. Yeah, and you had to go and lose it. Don't worry. I'll get you another yeah, one. I don't, I don't want to talk to you. I will if I ever get back to Argentina. Shut the fuck up, all right? Lost my goddamn belt buckle. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Argentina, sure. What the hell are you doing? You reading now? Yeah, I'm reading. Why? What? I'm reading. When are you going to go see Mom? I tried, remember? Anyway, just let me rest a little bit. I've been, I've been traveling all day. There's some pretty good art articles in here. It's a goddamn broads magazine. Hey. It's a goddamn broads magazine. I can't. What do you, what do you read this shit for? I don't have a subscription or anything, but I, you know, I buy it once in a while. Listen to this. Sex. An act of love or violence? Which is it, Richard? Huh? You know, I can't believe you can sit here and read this shit. This, this is a wake. Yeah? You can you really get to understand women from this stuff. Sometimes I even I go down to the supermarket. I look into, you know, where the, where the razor blades are. That's you know, and I buy romance bullshit. novel. Yeah, I do. No, it's not bullshit. Romance Women novels. like it. They, women like it. It, it gives, us this, gives us something to talk about. You really that boring? What else is there to talk about? Plenty of things. Like what? Oh, a whole world full of things. Yeah, give me an example. All right. Politics. What, what do you know about politics? I watch the evening news. Yeah. I, I know my way around the political yeah. arena. The people I know don't, they don't know nothing about politics. The people you know must have a very narrow world view. Yeah. I met some very interesting people. Yeah, well, I bet. Like, like who? Like, uh, this girl. Oh. She was a dancer. Oh, dancer. Yeah. Where she danced? Well, the strip joint. <laughs> you, you call that dancing? 
She was good too. Yeah, why was she dancing in a whorehouse then? It wasn't a whorehouse, it was a strip joint. I mean, she, she had to start somewhere. Solo. She did all right. Like we lived together for a while. She treated me good. How long did you stay? A couple of months. She threw your ass out, didn't she? The girl worshipped me. Then why'd you leave? I didn't care about her. Uh, thinking about yourself again, huh? <sighs> where's your where's your wife? She's not here. No? She couldn't make it. Why not? She's busy. Yeah? Doing what? Other things. Like what? Huh? Other things. What things? Other things. Huh? Ah, I see. I see. All right. All right. All right. See what? Nothing. No, no. What? No, no. It's pretty obvious. What? Ah. She didn't like him either, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, maybe I'll meet her later on this evening. Uh, huh? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah? Maybe. Hey, Richard, smile. What the fuck is it with you? What? Who takes pictures? What? Who brings a camera to a wake? I thought I'd memorialize the moment. Hey, you want to take pictures? Go to fucking Disneyland. Georgie girl. Da 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 you're looking good. Hey, looking good. Feeling good. Yeah. Hey, you, you sticking around or what? Yeah, we'll see. How's it going out there, Georgie? Hey, pretty good. Most everyone's in the back uh, talking. Fucking reunion. Hey, but there's this one woman out there, though. She is carrying on. Sitting up by the casket, right? Old Lady Carmichael. She is crying, really crying, but everyone's ignoring her. Why well, encourage it, Georgie? Well, I tried to cheer her up. I introduced myself. I told her I was a friend of the family, give us something to talk about in common. And she was polite, but I could tell she did not care. So I started talking about the flowers, how nice they looked around the casket, and she shrugs. And this time, by this time, I'm feeling like an intruder. So I say, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. She turns to me. Her eyes are red and her nose is running. <laughs> she, she says to me, <laughs> she says, doctor says my Eddie will be lying in the casket within a year. <laughs> Who the fuck is Eddie? It's her husband. He's been in and out of the hospital with cancer. That's too bad. I kind of liked him. You kidding me? Half the town is chasing him for money. He won't pay off loans. He won't pay off debts. I'll tell you what kind of guy he is, Georgie. At my father's wake, people were coming up to me saying how sorry they were, what a good man he was, respectful. Eddie comes up to me, grabs my arm, half drunk, says, Sawbuck Miami beats the spread. Can you believe that shit? No. My was brave, no less. And what's worse, my mother was there. Oh, shit. What's the matter with you? Your mother said she wanted to see you. When? Uh, a little while ago. Why did you tell me, goddammit? I did, I forgot. Let me tell you something about this idiot here. She's never gonna change. She... Put that Richard, thing- smile. <laughs> never gonna change. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> this friend. <laughs> Oof. I'm hungry. I should have eaten before I come. Uh, hold on a second. I got something for you. Uh, yeah. Clean? Yeah. I hate apples. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I hate apples. I hate pears. I hate plums. I hate peaches. I hate pineapple. I detest oranges. I like bananas, though, but only with whipped cream. Well, why whipped cream? 
because then you don't taste the bananas. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Been a while, Cole. Yeah, three years. It's a long time. Yeah, three years, Georgie. Yeah. Hey, you missed Richard's wedding. Yeah. Yes. It's a nice wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. How about the uh, the divorce? Ooh. You heard? Yeah, but, you know, his wife was cheating on him, right? Did Richard tell you this? Uh, you know, we're brothers. Was, was he pissed? Was he pissed? I don't know. He's pissed a lot, so I don't know. We went up north about a month after it happened, rented this little cottage for the weekend. And this place was beautiful, mountains, trees. I went hiking. You went hiking? Bought the boots and everything. What a waste. Richard, though, he stayed at the cottage, uh, shot squirrels with a 22. Yeah? Yeah, killed 12, 15 of them. Yeah? Yeah, but that night, though, he gathered them all up and he... He crushed their skulls with the butt of a rifle. And then he dumped them into this big, like, metal trash can. He poured a gallon of gasoline in, and he flicked the match. Yeah, well, yeah. Fried them all. Why do you think he did that, Georgie? Uh, I guess he doesn't like squirrels. <laughs> Pretty, pretty busy out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, these things, they always do pretty good business. Gives people a chance to get out of the house, see friends. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, like us, for instance. Uh, like us, yeah. <laughs> Talk about old times, catch up on what's new. Nothing wrong with that. No. Huh. I don't think so either. Yeah. Yeah. What friends do? Yeah. You know what? I got you something. Really? Yeah. What? A little gift. For me? Yeah. Why? Well, we're friends. Hey, that's really nice. Uh, you like it? You kidding me? I love it. What is it? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a belt buckle. A belt buckle? Yes, yeah, silver and turquoise. Turquoise. Silver and turquoise? Wow. Yeah. This must have set you back. You're way back. Where'd you get this? Arizona. Arizona, wow. Yeah. So what do I do with it? Well, you wear it. Uh, how? There's no belt. Well, you know, you, 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 you it's just a buckle. So it's half a belt? Yeah, you just buy a belt without a buckle. Uh, where am I going to find a belt without a buckle? Uh, you, you know, hey, if you don't want it. No, no, it's not that I don't want it. I just, <clears throat> I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to wear it. And that would be a waste. All right, fine. No problem. I appreciate the gesture though, man. Seriously, I do. Yeah. Hey, look later, you won't come by my house? We'll eat something. You got a house? We, I'm, I got married. You got married, when? About, about six months ago. Why? I fell in love. With who? I want to meet her. Who, her? I mean, right? Hmm. Uh huh. And so this this person you 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 you're in love. Yeah. Yeah, we are. How about that? <laughs> yeah, shit happens. Well, obviously, look at you. You're you're living proof. Uh, so this guy is he? Uh, good looking? Yeah. Well, I like to look at him. Yeah. You want to you want to see him? Yeah. He's not here because he doesn't like wakes. Uh, he went to his father's wake once. It really upset him. Here. 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real here. Yeah, no here. Mm. Nice, huh? Yeah. Last time I saw you was three years ago at your father's wake. Yeah. What'd Ma want? She wanted to know if I made arrangements with Father Konarski. Yeah, did you? Of course I did. And then why isn't he here? Who knows? He's probably molesting some altar boy in the confessional. Hey, your mother, she's still good looking for a woman her age. For her age? Well, yeah, she's getting up there. Georgie, my mother does more in an hour than you do in a month. Yeah, she still goes to the gym. Hmm? Every day. Yeah, and the beauty parlor. Every week. Yeah, but her skin, it's so smooth and not a wrinkle. That's because she never smiles. I'll tell you, when I was a kid, I had a little crush on her. Hey, watch your fucking mouth. It's true, everyone did. My mother, she's a good woman, but she wasn't good looking like your mother. Well, looks is deceiving, Georgie. Yeah, she was always nice to me, fed me every time I came over. Hey, um, she still make that pork thing? Yeah, what pork thing is that, Georgie? Yeah, you know, that pork thing with the um with that with the roasted stuff. Roasted peppers. Yeah, yeah, roasted peppers. She still make that? Probably. Hey Richard, do you, does, does Ma still make that uh that stuff yeah. with the roasted peppers? Yeah. Yeah? That was my father's favorite dish. Second favorite. What was his first? Bourbon, neat. Yeah, it runs yeah. in. I don't think your your father ever liked me much. Why do you say that, Georgie? He wouldn't talk to me. He did that to everyone. Not to me. I miss him. He was a great, great guy. Yeah, but he had a temper. Like I said it runs in the family. Like I said, you know, it runs in the family. Yeah, but he gets so pissed. Pissed, pissed when your mother would dress you two up as twins and put you in those stupid sailor suits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she made a salute her. Aye, uh, aye, ma'am. So stupid. <laughs> so, and then she'd give you chores to do, like mow the lawn, go to the store, and whoever finished first, she promoted. Yeah, everything was a contest. Yeah, so who outranked who? I outranked, I outranked him. him. No, you didn't. Yes. No, you oh, didn't. I, did. no, did. I, was, I was a captain. You were like the mess cook or oh, something. Come like on. That. Hey, 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 Richard, he was always he was always a bit of a mama's boy. Woman, <laughs> you ever shut up? Oh, we're just reminiscing. Hey, reminisce someplace else. Hey, you know, Cole, you look just like your mother. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, just like her. He doesn't look like my mother. Yeah, he does. Yeah, a lot of people tell me that. Because you do. Well, no, he doesn't. He doesn't look anything like my mother. Yeah, he does. He has your, your mother's cheekbones. Look at him. Turn, look at him. I, 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 think I, I think I do. I'm telling yeah. you. He doesn't look anything like my mother. I look like my mother. No, no you don't. Yes, I do. You, know, you don't look like your mother. You know who you look like. Who? Your father. He, he does. Get out of here. You do. You look like Don't, him. Doesn't he look like your father, Cole? Yeah, he does. But you, you do. You look just like him. I told you. Why do I look like him? He was ugly. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me tell you two something, okay? Fuck you two. Fuck you two. How about laugh at that? Oh, come on, Richard. You're drinking too much. Kiss my ass, okay? <sighs> I get back out there. Yeah, do that. I'll see you later, Cole. Yeah, Georgie. Good to see you. Hey, 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 um, Richard. Yeah. That's your father's brother out there, right? Yeah, that was my mother's brother. Mm. Richard. Get back, man. <laughs> I thought you said it was your father's brother. My father never had a brother. 
Oh, so then that would be your mother's brother. Yeah, mother's brother, right? Yeah, young guy. 65, 68. Mm -hmm. You get off me, back off. What a shame. Why? Well, he died so? young. So he was robbed of his later years. Big deal. Well, it's a shame. I think it's a shame. Hey, listen to me. You die, you die. That's it. End of story. Mm -hmm. ah. Georgie, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Hey, was your uncle married? What are you, his fucking biographer? I just want to know if he's married. No, Georgie, he wasn't married. Gay? Okay. No, he wasn't gay, Georgie. He was having an affair with his married broad for like 20 years. Oh, she wouldn't marry him? He wouldn't leave her husband. So your uncle was like, you know, second string the whole time? He tried to kill himself about 15 years ago, slash his wrist. Yeah, but he lived. Yeah, Georgie, he lived. Otherwise we wouldn't be having this wake today, huh? <laughs> For me, Georgie. Hey, is she out there? Yeah, she's out there. Which one is she? The stranger. Oh, I feel bad for her. I feel bad. Because she lost her uncle. Yeah, she still has her husband. Oh, yeah, but I feel bad for her anyway. She's a tramp, a goddamn whore. Oh, Jesus, Richard, you know, you really ought to try breathing. Get out of here. No, no, try it. Really, it'll settle you. It'll get rid of all that poison. Here, watch. Go ahead, try it. Try it. Okay. <laughs> hey, Cole. I'm going to get these developed. Do you want one? Yeah, sure, Georgie. How about you, Richard? You want a picture? You picture my foot up your ass. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. It's okay, Cole. You don't understand. See, your brother, he's bitter. Yeah. And he's angry. And you know why? Why? Because he knows that I know that he knows that I have a bigger dick. <laughs> That's great. She was always uh, one of the guys. She's more of a man than you'll ever be. She got married, huh? To who? Some guy. Yeah? Nice girl? Nice guy. He's all right. Yeah? So tell me about your wife, Richard. What? What's, what? what's she like? You know, the, the domestic type, Betty Crocker? I mean, you better start... Saving your cash, soon she'll want a house, then kids. You don't have any kids, do you? No, no, no kids. I can't wait to meet her. You think she'll like me? Ah, she will probably love you. Yeah, hands off though, right? Um, we'll be friends, or maybe, you know, she could be my little sister. You know, I never had. What do you think? Do me a favor, Cole. Lay off my wife. Why? 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 So just lay off. My wife. What's the matter? Richard, don't you know newlyweds are supposed to not fight? That's a bad sign. Honeymoon's over. Kind of, yeah. It's over. What? Look. I'm not married anymore. I got a divorce. Let's just leave it at that. Why? I made some mistakes, okay? I fucked up. I tried to get her back. I went over to her house. I apologized. I got down on my hands and my knees, begged her back. Told her I was sorry. I even asked her mother. I promised. Yeah. I did everything I could. I did everything I could.
Do you want to hear this? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. You know, I, know, I, I know no, I should. Ahead. I never should have brought it up with go, you. Go ahead, Richard. No, read your magazine. No, go, go read your goddamn magazine. Read your magazine. Come on. I'm not talking about it. You all can right? talk to me. No, no I never read your magazine. Talk to me. We're brothers. I caught her screwing another guy. With who? Some guy. Yeah? Who? I don't know. Only one guy? According to her. Yeah? So what did you do? I threw her out of my house. That's what I did. She was screwing this guy for a couple of couple of months. Everybody knew about me. Everybody. I'm, I'm walking around town and everybody's laughing at me. Everybody. You left her behind my back. You know what they did to my pride? What did you, uh, how'd you find out? She told me. Well, at least she was honest about it. Honest? Honest, my goddamn ass honest. She could have told me from the beginning, instead of me look like a fool in front of everybody. She didn't have the nerve, though. She's a whore and a coward. And I hope she has a miscarriage and dies. Don't say that, Richard. Don't tell me how to talk, motherfucker. Don't tell me how to fucking talk. Well, where is she now? Huh? He's living with the guy. Who is he? Some guys. And born again Christians, Scientologists. I don't know what the fuck. Religious guy. Yeah, you know how they are. Yeah. Praise the Lord and Pastor yeah. Crisco. Hypocrites. Yeah. During the day, they pass themselves off as good Samaritans. At night, they're gang fucking runaways. Yeah, you ever meet them? Oh, yeah. I met that motherfucker. Once. Yeah. Late at night, I met that motherfucker. So, uh, you been seeing anyone else? Well, one girl, almost. I met her through Georgie and her husband. I called her once. We were talking. Everything's fine. I asked her out for a Saturday night. She said she was busy. I said, hey, if that's the way you want it. Then she starts telling me what the hell she has to do. I say, hey, look, you don't owe me a goddamn excuse. If that's the way you want it, fuck off. I hung up on her. Yeah, wow. You, you never you ever called her back? I should waste my time. Yeah, that's smooth, Richard. Yeah, yeah. Smooth is right. <laughs> hey, uh, you gotta hold it down out here. Lisa, where's the bathroom? What the hell are those? They're a mint. You want one? Do you believe this? What? what? Put those goddamn things <laughs> here. <laughs> No, they're all dirty. Isn't that too bad? What are you doing eating candy at awake? This is not a Halloween party, it's awake. Oh, some respect is my my uncle's. Fuck off. It's the stupidest goddamn thing you've ever done. Oh no, it's not. What do you want anyway? I'm looking for the bathroom. They got one in this place, don't they? Downstairs in the cellar. I'm not going down the cellar in this place. Can't you see I'm talking to my brother? Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Hey, don't talk to me like that, you miserable son of a bitch. I'm sick of you pushing me around. Who do you think you are? Oh, yeah, you shut the hell up and get the hell out of here. Take those goddamn things with you. Get the hell out of here. Hey, you goddamn bully. They're only goddamn mints, you motherfucker. No, okay, okay. Hey, enough, enough. They're only goddamn men. Get out of here, you bitch. Why do you, why do you push her around huh? so much? She's why? an idiot. She's a friend. Big deal. She's loyal, she cares about you. 
a hell of a lot more than you do. Uh -huh. Why'd you come back anyway? I told you because of mom. Because she liked her brother so much. She liked him? She loved him. Was that so hard to understand, Cole? You love me, Richard? Oh, shit. Oh, that's, 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 a, that's a stupid question, huh? That you have to love me because we're brothers. Why'd you come back here? Ma, I said. Oh, you rushed back to offer her comfort. Yeah. Now that she really needs it. That's right. Just like when dad died, huh? I had to leave then. Oh, afraid you might have to take care of her, yeah, huh? You were there. Like always. I don't. You weren't. Why did you come back? I don't have to answer to you. Why did you come back? Why are you here, goddammit? I don't have to answer Why to you. Why are you here? I don't have to answer to you. Why the hell are you I here? I don't have to answer to you. Why did you come back? Why are you here? I came back. There's no place to go. Huh. Huh. I got no place to go. <laughs> I knew it. I figured it. <sighs> You're a goddamn parasite. That's what you are. I figured it. But you're a goddamn parasite. I told Ma that too. I knew it. You're goddamn Paris. I figured it. You know what? I, I like it. I like this place. I think I'm gonna move in. What do you think? Oh, huh? Yeah. Suits what do you your, think? Suits your ass. No, I bet your place looks like this. But uh, you probably uh, have pictures of your wife on the wall that you, that you punched out. You punched don't them do out, that, didn't you? Huh? Don't do There's it, one. Paul. There's one. Punch it out, huh? Punch it out. Man, don't do this. Do you did, did, she, did she love you, Richard? Hmm? Don't do this. Am I getting too personal? Because if I am, just say the she word and I'll me. stop. No, she no, no. Me. she must have. She married you, but you know, I don't understand why. She you left. make me mad, I'll hurt you. Why, why, I will why hurt she, you. Why is she living with another guy? Is I she, never touched her. Is she fickle? Her. Is she fickle? Stop it, Cole. Is that why you stop love it? it? Make her scream in the bedroom? Was it love or violence? I never Richard? touched her. Was it love or violence? Tell me. She loved oh, me. Was it love she or loved violence? me. Was it love or violence? Tell me. Come on. Don't fucking do this. Tell me, Richard. Don't fucking tell me. Tell me. I'll fucking kill you! Hey, hey, hey! What is going on out there? You two idiots fighting it awake? What the fuck is wrong with you? Everything's nothing, George. Everything's fine, man. What do you want? The priest came. They started the prayers. Your mother went, asked if you wanted to pray for the dead. We'll be all right, George. We'll be all right. do this like we have a choice <laughs> hey thank you gave it to me before you didn't take it <laughs> <laughs> this really from Argentina nice nah, from the airport I got the perfect Awesome. That was a great job. We are all on the same camera except for Jen. So Jen, come on back. And hi, Jen. Wonderful job. Wonderful job. Thank you. And, uh, so Jen Lasalette as Georgie. And then let me bring back Marty Ryan as Richard and Kevin Kelly as Cole.
Let me get a chair for you, Cole. <laughs> um, let me let me just turn some things around here really quick. See, I'm doing everything. Let me see what's going on. So uh, we'll go for a couple minutes and. Um, let me see what's happening. Legs if, over. Sit down. Exactly. You if anybody down. has any questions, if anybody has any questions, oh, I see a hand up. If anybody has any questions, you can actually go on Zoom or you can type it in um, on, um, what is that thing? On YouTube. And let me, I got to get my participants back. And hello. Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Just unmute yourself and you're on. Shirley Snyderman, it's all you. Uh, okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, hi. I didn't know. I didn't realize I was doing that. I was going to send a comment. All I wanted to say is Kevin does not disappoint. My <laughs> goodness, <laughs> I got to meet this guy and give him a big hug. <laughs> you will. You will. <laughs> yeah, it was really great. It was it was very, very strong. Family dynamics. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know anything about those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't have any I'm I'm speechless. I don't really have the question to ask. Hey. Um, yeah, That's just great. It's just really good. I enjoyed it. You know me. I always enjoy your stuff. Oh, yeah. I know. Thanks, Shirley. Yeah, sure, sure. sure. You're awesome. All right. We'll, we'll see you back in June for our next poetry. Oh, yeah. Week. I'm looking forward to that. Working yeah. on some new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Bye. See you soon. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave. If they, all you guys have to do, anybody who has a question, we'll just go for a few more minutes. Uh, if you have a question. Oh, we have Mitch Levine, Kira, Todd, Marty, Kevin, and Jen. Wow. Well done. Moving, well written, and thoroughly engaging. You guys brought the ante room to wonderful life. Congratulations, bravissimo. Thanks, Mitch. Thank See you, Mitch. Thank you, Mitch. I hope you had a happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday to Mitch. Um, your, your East Coast birthday. So happy birthday. Um, Stu Berg. Oh, Stu, we miss you. You are so missed. All right, Stu, you're on. All right, Stu, just unmute yourself. Just unmute Stu, just unmute yourself. There you go, you're good. Yeah. Yes. I, I'm the shoe guy, Stu, but you know, whoever thought that, you know, at my age playing basketball, I could hurt my back because badly. <laughs> did. But you know, I wanted to do it. You guys were terrific. Oh, and John and, and Marty and, and Kevin, you guys, and Todd, a really, really good job. I, 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 I so enjoyed the dynamics between you people. Because they're the strangest thing, and not the strangest thing, I think if you were going for it, you certainly got it, uh, Todd. And that was the underlying of love that was, <laughs> that was there, regardless of who was yelling at who at any given time. There was, you know, the, the history, how you felt the history and, and the relationships, the problems and so forth. So my kudos to everybody. And I'll, I'll, I'll come and see you guys I, one of these days, you yeah. know. Otherwise, we're going to run anybody, to your house. Anybody home. wants to carry me in or is free to do so. <laughs> Thanks, Stu. Love you, Stu. Yeah, Kev. Good man. Take it easy, buddy boy. Okay. okay. All right, Stu. See you soon. Kieran, you should be on camera, by the way. So unmute yourself and um, Kiara Playwright, Kieran Angelini. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> my, there's so many buttons on this end. So I'm, I'm sorry that you I didn't introduce you earlier. Um, Karen Angelini, our illustrious playwright. Oh, you have been forgotten. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> no, no, never, never, never. It's believe me. There's a there's there's more buttons and there's more there's more going on here than the eye. So um, so that was great. Um, I do want to let everybody know that that this time we uh, we are on a location. So we we actually in order to go and and put everybody on the on the same camera, we rented a little studio, which was really beautiful and um, and made it work that way in order to get Marty and Kevin on the same camera. And um, that was very important when, when Karen and I talked about staging this in the beginning is putting everybody on the same camera. So obviously movement is, is really is a, is a tough, 
a tough deal. Um, but I, I really hope everybody enjoyed it. And I really hope that you guys think that we pulled it off. I think they, they were amazing, 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 amazing. So, you know, I'm very blessed to work with such wonderful actors and such a wonderful playwright. So it makes me uh, very happy and, and love to do this on a weekly basis. So guys, thank what, you, Todd. Thank yeah, you. thank you. What do you, what do you have to, anything to share? Uh, was, Not to put you on the hot seat. Yeah, well, it <laughs> yeah. was, uh, you know, it's always a different challenge with, uh, I've done a couple of the Zooms now and, uh, and this one is a little bit different, like right. you said, and, uh, but I think we made it work as best we could. We did. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did. You know, this is a, a piece where there's just so much, there's a lot of dancing. Um, so it was that, was, that was a challenge and you guys were, were awesome. And what's most important is that the, the word, the story comes to life, the words come to life, right. which you absolutely did, which you actually absolutely did. Thoughts? Well, you know, I kind of, I'm not supposed to give the, um, the belt buckle to the <laughs> end of the uh, play, but I looked to the side, you know, and I didn't, I, I didn't know, I just could give it an don't, don't tell them. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Sometimes, don't tell them. sometimes like mistakes, lead to genius and that's all that i can say <laughs> yeah no you guys you guys rocked don't give away, um, don't give away the story yes yeah. yes they don't need to know that <laughs> yes yes exactly. i wish we could do it again hey maybe we would i mean I, you know i'm all i'm all for encore performances by the way so mm -hmm. so that's uh, if if people out in the world want to see it again just send me an email or or todd at smartphone let's try this again Todd at smartphonetheater.com. If you want us to do another live, um, you know, we have a brilliant cast and we'll certainly do it again. Uh, and that's it. And uh, as, long as, as long as Kieran doesn't mind. All right. All right. Good. Very right, good. Uh, does anybody else have any more questions? Any more thoughts? Any more? We've got a few people on, on, on YouTube. We've got a handful of people left on Zoom. Thoughts, questions, comments, suggestions? None of the above. All right. Well, this piece, well, I mean, the live stream stays up on YouTube, so you can watch it again and again. Um, there'll be uh, there'll be another version, which I actually just you know offer a few tweaks, which will go up um, sometime during the week. It's it's gotten life's gotten very busy, so uh, I will will certainly uh, rush to that. Um, Karen, do, do you have anything to say? Jen, you want to chime oh. in? No, so thank you all. I love the actors. I think, especially while we're working a half a dozen times, it's amazing how, how you bring it to life. Just so thank you. You're great. You too, Todd, obviously. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Karen. It was great thank to, you. Great to yeah, do you. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. Thanks for the actors who got a chance to work with me. And, <laughs> and the director. So I just want to say thanks to everyone. Thanks. Thank you. He's only being a half a smart ass. It is a it is a pleasure to share a battlefield with Kevin it really, Kelly. You know, really, is, I know. It really, it I, I, it's an honor. It's an honor. I know. I to work with. No, you. I I, I concur. I mean, look, you know, we work together now a handful of times outside of the right, right, right. in person, right. and uh, it's a joy. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it is. It really is. It really is. Okay. And, no, I love. I, look, I take your word for it. Yeah, trust me. Trust me, it's it's a joy. Yeah. Thanks, Todd. Yeah, yeah, Thanks. yeah. So um, yeah, and there's there's more to come. Oh, Arthur, well, I see a hand up. Arthur, you are on. Have you just done? Uh, Kieran, I wonder if you could say anything about the seed of the idea for the play and how uh, you developed it as you worked on it. Actually, I wrote this originally for myself and two friends, and we never did it. Mm. Uh, I just want to explore the relationship between brothers who are una unable to love each other. And, you know, that's really the basis of the whole piece. And, you know, really like at the at last line of the play, you know, you want to pray for the dead. Well, who are you really actually praying for? Your uncle or yourself? So that's all. Thank you. And I enjoyed everyone's performances so much. Hey, Arthur, how you doing? Great, Kevin. Arthur's a great bass player, stand-up bass player. Great, great, great friend. Thanks for coming. Sure. How was I? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> All right. Got the long break after that. Mute. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And and I have to say, um, you know. Working with Jen is 
brilliant. And and I, you know, I keep on pulling you. Pulling <laughs> you out of retirement. And uh, uh, what we should say is that actually the role of Georgie is actually uh, written as a man. And Todd said, what if we made Georgie a woman? And I went, yeah, that sounds like a fantastic idea. So that was Todd's idea. And then we were lucky enough to get Jen. And she just brought it to life. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. It's really, you know, this is this is a piece that I, I'm so eager to get on its feet as well um, in person because there's so much, the, the dynamic in this piece between these three people is is so wonderful. And I've mentioned I've mentioned to everybody on camera right now that there is, you know, we there are times when we don't even need to say anything. And the chemistry between these three characters that you've created is so dynamic and so interesting that I would love to explore. So I look forward to that time. Yeah. yeah. Look to that time. So thank you guys. All right. Anybody else want to chime in? Nothing else? Wait, 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 wait. Richard, you got anything to say? No, I'm good. Come on, say something. <laughs> Come on, say something, will you? Thank you all for coming in. What a great guy. He's my brother. That's right. That's I love right. him. Yeah, he's all right. I'm Marty Ryan. He's all right. No, the, the line, I, meant, I missed one line. He's going to kill me. No. I missed one of them. <laughs> so, thank you. So, Jen and, and Kieran, I'm going to, we're going to do one more Zoom after this. So, stay by your email because I'm going to send you guys a quick link so we can do a wrap. All right. And to everybody else in the audience, thank you guys for coming. Uh, we, we so appreciate you being here. We love doing what we do. And uh, stay on the website, check our calendar. And you'll know there's there's a lot more coming up. So we we have a lot more stuff, more plays, more poetry, more conversations, more whatever. You never know. So Sundays, we've moved to Sundays now. So Sundays, Sundays at five. Okay. Marty and I would like to take a bow. Yeah. Jen, one, two, three. <laughs> Love that. I got a bad neck now. Oh my God, on my neck. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thank, thank you, you Todd. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.